There are a lot of problems in the society that we can't fix, but there are, there's some that we can control. Um, there's an epidemic in the U.S. right now about something that can't be that can be controlled, but not automatically solved. We need that. Forty-eight point one million people go through hunger, and fifteen point something percent of that is people under the age of eighteen, and so that's practically one in six people are struggling. Um, hunger is something that we can combat through various different organizations from the help of people that are in need of food. People suffer from hunger mostly with the struggle of money, so it would be under the poverty level. Being under poverty is just we don't make enough money and we need to find ways to get it. The problem is worldwide, it's not just in one place, it's everywhere. And in some cases it's not solved, so it leads them to death and puts them in a bad position. Uh, the only thing we can really do is help them get out of this state. And so next is Brennan, and he's going to present the program. All right, so there's many different solutions to this terrible issue. Uh, we can volunteer at soup kitchens, uh, we can donate food during can drives, and even donating money to the organization will help. Uh, but the sad truth is a lot of people don't want to donate like because it takes up their time or they just don't have the money to do it. Well, we found an organization that caught our eye, and they're a really good way that you can help. So it takes many different names, uh, Hunters for Hunger, Hunters Against Hungry, and uh, Michigan Sportsmen Against Hunger, but they all same, serve the same purpose, and that's to get food to people who need it. Uh, what this organization does is they take meat that's from like unwanted uh, deer, or like let's say the hunter, he likes to hunt, but he doesn't eat deer meat. He can go and he can donate his animal and all that meat goes to soup kitchens and other places like that across the country. And so there's a lot of different ways that anybody can help. So if you're a deer hunter and like I said, you like to hunt but you don't like deer meat, you can go and shoot deer, but then you can just donate it to other people that are gonna need it. And if you're not a hunter, then this organization needs a lot of money to process meat because it's not free, it's very expensive. And so you can donate money, and that will all go to processing uh, meat, and then that way everyone will still have meals. All right, and uh, real quick, what processing is. So processing is cutting up the animal into like various pieces that make certain things. Like uh, to make hamburger, it comes off of a certain part of the deer. To make steak, that comes off of a certain part of the deer. You can't just chop off a leg and have hamburger. It has to come off of a specific area, and that's very time consuming. There's uh, something called silver skin that's on the meat, and what that is, is it's, it can make it taste gamey if anybody knows what gamey meat tastes like, and so you have to get all that off, and it's a, a long process. All right, uh, one way that we can spread awareness about this is uh, we can go to local sporting events or maybe outdoor shows and you know, put up a sign, hand out pamphlets showing Michigan Sportsmen Against Hunger, and show how you can donate or raise money. Uh, we can do a pop can drive to raise money, and all this money that we're going to raise is going to go towards processing so people can stay, you know, not hungry. Everyone will have meals. And next, Tommy is going to explain how this will work. All right, donations. As Brennan said earlier, the best way to solve the issue of uh, hunger would be to donate. And this is through like money and food. Um, donated money would greatly help the less fortunate in America. This is because they would be able to afford to buy food to feed their families. And um, together with the world, we could drop the hunger rate significantly. And potentially, with the help of all the nations, we could wipe starvation off the face of the planet. Uh, year after year, countless amounts of food go to waste throughout the world. Whether it be you're not eating everything on your plate or stuff in your refrigerator goes bad. All that food could be used to help someone's life and help them survive. If this was your family or a child struggling to eat day to day, wouldn't you want to help and wouldn't you want others to help? So please donate. Um, while this is
those can become costly. Some processors have decided to do it for free out of the kindness of their hearts. Uh, in the year 2000, 50,000 pounds of wild game meat, consisting primarily of venison, were donated to Scorbin against hunger. This fantastic feat was accomplished just in Michigan alone. Um, this being said, imagine what an entire nation could do. If we had all the states combined and everybody donated the same amount that we did, that would be, that'd be amazing. Um, where did the cost lie? My group has made an effort to contact the Vice President of Hunters Against Hunger. Um, we emailed him and he responded saying that uh, it costs roughly a dollar to dollar per pound to process meat into burger. And uh, next, Tyler's going to go through the numbers. Like it was recently said, there is 48.1 million people suffering from hunger around this planet. So a few pot cans, cans of food, and a cup of deer here and there aren't going to aren't going to fill this full. The average human can consumes just under one ton of food. 1,996 pounds to be exact. With the math, that's 96.2 billion pounds of food needed to fill this hole. The United States, on average, donates roughly 53 million pounds of food per year, while Hunters for Hunger averages 2.8 million. At that scale, it's 55.8 million pounds of food needed to fill a 96.2 billion dollar hole. At that rate, it would take 144 years to fill one year. Now let's focus on this company, Hunters for Hunger. The, with the increased need for wild game, meat donation, and the increasing spotlight on the organization, corners will be cut. Government land, or government offers nice tax cuts to those willing to donate to worldly charities. So with the tax incentive, people will be more apt to poaching, destroying government land in order to slaughter as many animals as possible and to meet the meat standards of the government. Another obstacle that must be confronted is cost. Wild game processing is not cheap. Processing costs roughly $1 per pound. And the average deer yields between 60 and 80 pounds of meat. Not to mention the fact that a hunting license would cost about $30, and that adds between $90 to $100 just for one deer alone. Hunter for Hunger accepts all game, which increases in pounds and licenses. Hunger is a forever escalating problem, but donations of wild game hold such little yield that it seems like an unworthy solution to such an upgrowing problem. Many donations on average. Money donations on average, the donate roughly donates about $43.6 million to help fight hunger a year. A $1 equals about 4 pounds of food. With that math, that equals about 117.4 million pounds of food a year. At that previous total divides, it's 230.2 million pounds of food in total, if the conversion rate doesn't fluctuate. With that, that still leaves us an almost insurmountable amount of food still needed to defeat 41.8 million people. The above statistics are just for a year. This is an insurmountable hole that cannot be surpassed. Okay, I'm going to do Ash's part because she's not here today. Okay, even though Tyler put up a really good argument, I'm going to have to go around and destroy some of his theories. Uh, it was mentioned that because people can get write-offs for donating, that maybe they'll uh, be able to poach more. Uh, I don't think that's going to be able to happen because when you take a deer to a processor, that deer has to have a license on it. So if you take that deer to a license, uh, processor without a license, you're going to get in trouble. There is no doubt in my mind about that. And you have to be kidding me a lot. Oh, you guys. Um, so if an individual did that, they would be facing very harsh penalties. Uh, go ahead. Uh, the cost is thrown into the argument, too, and there are some invalid points in that. It was stated that it would cost the individual that was donating the meat. It would cost them to have it processed. Well, that's wrong because uh, that's the whole point of donating to Michigan Sportsman Against Hunger. All you have to do is donate your deer, and everyone else that maybe isn't donating deer, they're going to be donating uh, money, and that money goes to processing the animal. That's not on the hunters that have to do that. Um, but the statistic that stuck out the most is that Hunters for Hunger only raises about 2.8 pounds of 8.2.8 million pounds of food per year for the hunters. And to feed America, we need roughly 96 billion pounds of food. So. The opposition said that Hunters for Hunger will never work to stop hunger. Well, that's where we need everyone else's help. Yeah, we can't stop hunger with just Michigan Sportsman Against Hunger alone. We need every state's help. We need everyone to donate what money they have. Or if you're a hunter that would like to donate, then we need you to help too. And uh, 
you know, we can collect pop cans in our neighborhood for some money. We can start can like food can drives. You know, any money, any money, any food that we can donate is a big difference in someone's life. Someone's life. All right, and that is it. Yeah. You turn it on.